Hello guys, I recently launched a course about structuring databases and I was planning to shoot only two videos on YouTube about it. But recently, unexpectedly, one of the tweets about that course blew up on Twitter with a simple database tip or so I thought but with a lot of likes and comments. So in this video, I want to reiterate that tweet into YouTube video for YouTube audience and also read the comments with additional suggestions from the audience on Twitter and on LinkedIn. So the tip as you can read is simple, add prefixes and suffixes where it makes sense for the columns to be clear just from their names. So for example, instead of active, you can do is active, which means that it's Boolean immediately. And then instead of just saving activated, you may want to save activated at as a timestamp when it was activated. And especially in Laravel, the add suffix is kind of a standard with created at and updated at added by default. So this is basically the whole tip, but my audience added a few valuable comments that I want to reiterate here. So with 5,000 views and 200 likes and 17 comments, I find this. David kind of asked, but also kind of pointed out that it's not only is, sometimes it's has. So is active, for example, but also has something or not. It's also kind of telling to us that it is a Boolean field. Also interesting mini conversation between me and Kiel about date. So timestamp is at, so at which time, but what about dates? And at first I thought that it would be still at suffix, but then I rethought the next morning and probably date is a better, more appropriate way. But as I finally told to Kiel, there's no standard. It's your personal preference. The goal is for that to be understandable to others. Also, Amar pointed out again for dates that if you have a range of dates from and until are also appropriate and good suffixes. Also, Anwar pointed out that Taylor told once that it's not either or to save timestamp or boolean. You may save timestamp into a database, but still create a boolean property in the form of accessor in Eloquent to have is activated, for example, which will check whether activated at column is null or not. Because sometimes you may care whether the record is activated or not. And in other places of your application, you may care when it was activated. And now let's quickly run through the comments on the same similar post on LinkedIn, which got even more likes, 500 likes with 14 comments. And here I want to kind of show the faces and names of people who contributed. So Tarsicio said the same thing that you could create an accessor returning a Boolean value. Also Zakaria pointed out activated by usually means by who, by which, user. Also quite a good convention I've used in the past in Laravel. And Omid also pointed out about has prefix, which I mentioned earlier in this video. So yeah, a quick tip on Twitter or so I thought, but a few comments from the audience helped me to reformat that into a full video here on YouTube. I hope it was useful and helpful. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.